Okay, I'd just like to demonstrate how to use the MapReduce update script to ungroup invoices. So I have a search here already that shows all the invoices I'm interested in. It's a bunch over 6,000. Now, the key thing to bear in mind here is that the normal mass update routine that will run is is not able to handle fields like this because they are inline inlined and so it's not they are not exposed there. And uh, but what we can see is that this field actually can be edited because I have the uh, the plugin um, the Chrome plugin the Advanced Field Explorer and here I can actually set the invoice grouping to false and save it. And so I know that you know it's possible to manipulate this field via script. And then based, so based on that, based, we could use a mass update or map reduce script to run it. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. First of all, we need the script ID for invoice grouping. It is. So let's take this one as our new example. Before I run the script on the whole data set, I'd just like to limit it to one or two rows. Uh, there's a trick you can do there. You can do a formula numeric. Just to test it because you don't want to break anything. So you can put in row number. Note that there are no braces around it, just row number equals one. And this would kind of limit your data set to whatever you set there. So now I'm just going to use this row as my test row just to make sure everything is working before I apply it all the records. So if we go to scripting, scripts, when you have the Prolecto Utilities Bundle installed, you should have that script. It's a map reduce script. You could just filter to that and look for the Prolecto PRI mass update map reduce deployments. We could use the existing deployment or just make a new one. I just prefer to make a new one so I, I don't mess with what's happening. So here, this is update invoice voice grouping and then here I need to set some parameters uh, to pass it my search and then the field I want to update is for invoice grouping so I get the ID and I need to set it to false in this case so I'm just going to set it to F I don't need a query, so I'm going to clear it just in case it's going to have an effect. And I'm going to check this use inline X edit. Um, this just makes it faster because it doesn't have to load the whole record to apply the update. Now I can just go ahead and save and execute and we'll see what happens with that invoice. It's already been picked up and it's complete. And now if I refresh this page, you should see that the invoice grouping is unchecked. There you go. And so now I'm sure that this is working. I can go ahead and expand my search again. Let's include everything and run the map reduce for all the records 6757. So I just need to go back to this deployment. And if there was more concurrency like this, I could now just do it a bit faster. Let's use four so we allow for the processes to run. That's it. Save and execute.